Welcome everyone to the recap video of the AI Winter Hackathon that Assembly AI hosted last weekend. It was an incredible event. We had 440 participants from 84 different countries and more than 150 submissions in the end. And the goal was to build an AI powered product, but you were free to choose the domain and also the technologies you wanted to use. And it was really incredible to see what you could all came up with, all the different ideas and what you could all accomplish in just two days. Like seriously, we were speechless when the projects came in on Sunday and it was really hard to choose a winner. So I want to thank you all for spending this weekend with us, for putting in the time and the effort and building. I hope you learned a lot and also enjoyed this. We sure did and maybe we will see you in the next one. And now in this video, we want to go through all the winners and all the honorable mentions. I'm sorry that not all projects could make it to the final list. Like I said, it was really hard to choose a winner, but in the end we had to make a decision. So here are our top picks and now let's go over them. In the first place, we have Superpaint by Asad Memon and Aska Kaiser. Superpaint is a drawing app that can enhance your sketches with AI. So given an initial painting, you can generate variations of your painting by giving a description and a specific style you want your variations to be in. You can generate parts of your drawing by highlighting a certain part and providing some context. And you can also expand your drawing and generate a framing for it. Finally, it is also possible to in-paint objects to existing images. This app was built with React and another technology called Fabric.js and the image technology is coming from Stable Diffusion's image-to-image -image model and in-painting and out-painting models that are on Replicate. We really like this project for how interactive it is. And on top of that, all the features are already built to an MVP level and the interface is very user-friendly and intuitive. And on top of that, the app was very well presented. So congratulations to the team for building this project and taking home the $35,000 first place prize. The second place goes to Toy Story Creator by Sahid and Tinze. This brings children's toys to life for bedtime stories. So here the user can upload images of toys and then select the age for which those stories should be created. And then requests are sent to the Cohere API to create the stories. Plus requests are sent to replicate to train a model and then the trained model can be used to create new images that go along with the story. And then everything is combined into one bedtime story. And the interface was really easy to use and both the landing page and the final story page look really beautiful. We also love the complexity of combining multiple technologies and APIs plus the huge potential to build on top of this in the future. So you listed some possible improvements on your submission. For example, you could combine this with assembly AI speech to text API to allow children to dictate their own story or to implement UberDuck to read the stories. So there is really a huge potential to improve this in the future. So great job Sahid and Tinze and congrats on winning second place and the $10,000 plus 1,000 in API credits. Great job. The third place went to Operator AI that was made by Damir Temir, Navin Ravindran, Lirak Hajikadria, and Wei He. Operator AI is an AI system that connects 911 callers with their required emergency services. The team came up with this idea during the recent hurricane in Florida when they saw that there were not enough emergency services available to everyone who needed help. With Operator AI, they are aiming for the calls to be dealt with quickly and effectively and helping to locate people faster so that you can start dispatching help to them faster. How the app works is, once an emergency number is called, the caller is guided to give their names, their location, and the type of emergency they're facing. The location and the emergency type is extracted from the caller's answer and a priority level is automatically assigned. A dispatcher can later update these values if they see fit. One of the nice things is that this app was built using a lot of technology. So first of all, they used Twilio to automatically answer calls and guide the callers. And then assembly AI to real-time transcript what the caller is saying. And then name entity recognition and text classification models from Hugging Face to understand what the user is saying and to be able to assign it a priority level. 
The front end of the app is made by React and Chakra UI, and the back end, we have DigitalOcean and Firebase. We loved how thoroughly this app was prepared and how multiple technologies from different sources were combined to create an app that would actually be useful in a real life setting. It is also very thoughtfully made because it really covers the important pain points of the problem that they're trying to solve. And it was very nicely presented at the end. So congratulations to the team for winning the third place prize of $5,000 plus $500 in Assembly AI API credits. Now we have five honorable mentions that will receive swag and also will be mentioned on our blog post. So we have Supercut by Zach and Xavier. Supercut is an autonomous podcast editing assistant that automatically creates short social video clips and tweets from your podcast's video recording. Then we have Photo Studio by Asim that lets you create stunning photo shoots for your products in seconds by using AI to segment the product and then applying stable diffusion in painting to create new images with the product. Then we have Scaling Potato by Danny, Lisa and Animesh. Scaling Potato is an AI-powered technical interview preparation platform where users can practice a mock interview with an AI-guided interviewer. Then we have Maybook by Anushka and Mac, a fun and personalized learning platform for kids. It uses AI to create books with comic illustrations to take the kids on an adventure while at the same time teaching about the topic. And the last honorable mention will go to Braden and David's project, which is an AI powered journaling product. It uses AI to transcribe your spoken thoughts into a journal entry and generate a complementary image that captures its essence. On top of the first, second and third place prizes and honorary mentions in the hackathon, we gave away two special prizes. One of them is the Assembly AI Special Prize and the other one is Cohere Special Prize. So as you can understand from the names, the Assembly AI Special Prize was given to a project that used Assembly AI in a very creative way, and the Cohere Special Prize was given to a project that used Cohere in a creative way. So the Assembly AI Special Prize went to pupil.ai. Pupil.ai is an AI assistant to replicate asking questions to a professor during a lecture in an online learning setting. With Pupil.ai's Chrome extensions, learners can ask questions to a chatbot about the contents of a video. And in a time where we do a lot of our learnings online, you can really see how useful this app can be, even day to day. We really love the creative use case this team came up with and how they used Assembly AI to make online learning more interactive. And the special Cohere prize went to DocSpace by Nathan Dahlberg. DocSpace is a legal document analysis tool that lets users extract specific information from complicated legal documents. Given the PDF of a complaint, it extracts each claim in this case, making it easier to identify whether a motion was fully or partially granted or denied, eliminating the need to dive into the original documentation to retrieve this information. We loved how using models from Cohere in a creative way, Nathan was able to create a novel and very useful document analysis tool. So great job everyone and congratulations again. We really had a lot of fun going through all those projects. And I hope that you don't stop here, but improve those in the future. Even the ones that didn't make it to this list, there are still a lot of other ones that were really great and that have a huge potential to be used as an actual product. So work more on them and launch them to the public. This would be really cool to see. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this weekend and maybe join us for the next one. And now go to the dev post page and there you can see the project gallery. So take a look at all of the other projects as well. And again, congratulations to the winners. And then I hope to see you maybe in the next one. Bye.